to a new vlog and welcome to plant mom things i'm here with all my babies well, all my plant babies yes they have stayed alive for a year so i'm gonna clap and i've also had help from plant daddy i don't wanna lie okay say something plant daddy hey <laughs> anyways i'm here to water these babies with you because um i've got some plant food that i have here some organic general fertilizer that i have so now that it's winter i do it every two weeks but in summer i've been doing it every week so that these babies stay uh you know with food i can't just keep watering them without any nutrition or whatever and i've got like my little measuring cup i usually mix it in this bottle right here i still have a bit of the fertilizer left and then i put it in this little uh, watering can i need to look for a cute gold one so if you know a place where i can get one let a girl know all right so i usually mix so you first have to shake it and then dilute so it's like a teaspoon i don't even know what's an equivalent of a teaspoon but i'm just gonna use this um i usually fill it up So you dilute it with like a liter this is like 1.5 liters it's like an old juice bottle this stuff doesn't smell so nice but it's it's not my food it's for the plants i'm sure it's like heaven for them and then i go ahead and i dilute with some water mm. so this is the chocolate concoction that we see over here so I usually just water from the top and then I stop once I see that the water starts coming out at the bottom because I don't want to over water it. Yeah, then I'll just leave it fill up. This lily needs a lot of water. Just going to let the water sink and then she can drink it up from there. And then here is the crocodile fern. Just a wild one this one little wild one uh oh my god that was messy but anyways if you are a person that cannot keep plants or they keep dying snake plant is your plant you can go on holiday for a whole month and come back and it will still be intact like no cap you guys are good the rest you need to be there otherwise you come back in the dead so i went to chinatown the other day and i got some things and i wanted to share with you first i wanted to like film before i got the things and then then i realized most of the things i needed to then put them in the house and see where i could locate them where i could put them and all that stuff so i'm gonna show you some of the things that i got it was just a few things and it was about the whole bill i think it was about 1.4 if i remember the prices i'll tell you how much each of the things were but i just thought things that would add to the place first okay so the two things or the three things i got were these cushions so this pink fluffy one here and then this gray fluffy one here as well they slightly look different than the first different and i love that it's actually cases with pillowcase with pillows inside where you can wash them when you need to i really love this one it's so shaggy but i just thought we got the gray so that it balances out since you know we shared the bed <laughs> and then the next thing uh, uh the price for this one was 120 this one was 80 bucks and then we got two continental pillows with the pillowcases. The pillows themselves were going for 120 each. And then the covers, I think it was 80 Rand for both as well. All right. So the next thing I got also was this fluffy cushion that you see over here. This one was going for 80 Rand. Also the same kind of situation where there's a zip so you can actually wash it. And it's, it's all good. And then the next thing we got was the carpet. We changed the carpet because I'm going for like a blue, greenish kind of aesthetic. The carpet was 480 Rand, which was a bargain. Uh, they were on sale actually. And then I got, I changed the curtain uh, to like a duck egg uh, kind of curtain. I'll show you the one I exchanged with. I moved the one that was in here originally uh, into the bedroom. And then it kind of has a lace with it and you can tie it. If you want and then it kind of makes like a knot right here so that's kind of the look and then the blue blanket like i'm telling you i'm going for like a green 
blue kind of aesthetic got this one from pep if you check out my last vlog you will see that it was there and then the curtains i exchanged were these ones these ones were the ones in the lounge the gray so in the bedroom i'm trying to go for like a gray and white those are the things that i got from chinatown i'm still working on the place it can never be like really fully made until i get the things that i want to get um i'm still deciding whether i want a white headboard or like a gray one but we'll definitely i'll let you know when i get one Ooh, so this is my final look um I hope you would have checked the video out by the time this vlog actually drops my battery my battery is like literally crying <laughs> because like it's been filming like a lot a lot it's been a while since i did like a whole makeup video i just wanted you to see behind the scenes the carnage of it all before this switches off i'm just gonna flip this real quick so that i can show you guys like this is what happens after you Yeah, just showing the damage of it all after you finish filming a makeup video. But anyways, um, thank you for joining me. You will definitely see this look on Instagram and you'd have probably seen it on the channel. I just thought I involved it in my weekly vlog. Today is Monday when I'm creating this look. So this is probably going to drop on the weekend or next week, depending on when I actually drop my uh eat or spill video which i did with the lovely yo kyloreen but let me know what you're thinking of this look because you that lash that lash though that lash they'll be killing it Alrighty, i'll catch you on the flip side Whew. we're just running i thought we were late for our appointment so guys i'm going to get new glasses and we're here at speak savers and i'm waiting for my appointment the second one now because the first time i bought my glasses was like in 2018 so i'm a bit late but we're here and i i want to pick like a nice frame different one for a different girl mm. okay, i like them so i'm going with this frame I just came back from spec savers to get like new frames for me my gosh like yeah getting glasses is like so 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 expensive my gosh <laughs> first the lady made a mistake and she gave me a bill of like seven thousand i almost had a heart attack and then she was like no there's a mistake that's been made first she did the one and then it was like four thousand and i was like oh my gosh and then um i had to come i had to do something real quick and go choose a frame when we came back i don't know what happened on the system because there's things that she needs to select and then the next thing it came back and it was seven thousand yo guys <laughs> and then she did it again and then it became like 3.5 but if you see the discounts it's crazy because the frame that i chose right now they have a winter um discount that they have so if you wear glasses you must head over to spec savers because you save on frames like a whole thousand five hundred off your glasses i'll show you like the bill right now like the heart attack so i ended up paying 3.5 and i'm gonna get my glasses after two weeks so new frames Hey, congratulations on 50k! Thank you! <laughs> How you feel? Oh, I feel good! <laughs> this cake looks awesome! Looks awesome! Look at the keyboard mm -hmm. and look at the little mixer over there with the decks and everything! Oh, thank you, baby! This cake is amazing! Best gift ever! Oh. Like, thank you, thank you so much, baby! Look at the, the musical stuff on the side and Look at that on top. Let me make sure I don't drop this. <laughs> YouTube ah, and FL Studio. You yes, know, my yeah. elements. Your elements, honey. My elements. <laughs> wow. Congrats. Awesome cake. Ah, <laughs> X Dizzle, 50K. 50K, 50K, 50K. <laughs> oh, I love it, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that beauty. Look at it. <laughs> a cake fit for a king, man. For a king. Ooh. Okay, okay. Right, so, so you're gonna slice the whole of the eggs day out because like I don't know if you're gonna eat all of it, but <laughs> I'll slice here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ooh. 
Okay, I'm gonna need two hands. <laughs> wow. It's huge. Oh, no? It's huge. Have you ever had such a huge cake? <laughs> you still need to go ah. all the way to the middle, eh? <laughs> Damn it. There it is. Ooh, so yum. Hey, hey. Go back there. Hey. I mean, look at the layer of cream. Look at that. I'm in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> How is it? Mm. It must be yummy, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's yummy. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Mm hmm How would you feel? <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be able to finish it right now. <laughs> so we are going out and he just cut his cake. Did you love your cake? I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was really nice. Thank you for the cake though. No problem. Thank you for the cake. We so, just ordered our Uber, so it's gonna come through and take us to where we need to go. Destination Babs, we're going to celebrate, we're going to eat nice food and you guys will see when we're there. good oh like I'm so full right now <laughs> I'm so full back from blowfish cape town i've been wanting to go to the restaurant for a minute so i just thought we'd go to celebrate 50k and just be out and about because most of the times it's just out here working and it's winter the side in cape town until november like yo guys anyways so today was a bit cloudy a little bit sunny here and there so we just decided ah 
you know what let's just go out and have fun and enjoy the food was amazing the drinks the atmosphere like in winter they have like little fireplaces inside there it's really 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 warm then after afterwards i just decided to go visit the beach uh we went to dolphin beach unfortunately i don't know if it's the time of the year we didn't get to see any dolphins but there was nobody at the beach like no one it was just as crazy enough so i guess that's the good part of coming into or to the beach in winter but yeah we can't get into the water because there were literally signs like don't go in there otherwise yeah it will be dead <laughs> anyways i enjoyed myself i hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog thank you so much for joining us um you know and just enjoying and celebrating with us really appreciate it like subscribe comment and do all the good things let me know which was the best part of the vlog if you want to see more vlogs on the channel let me know but anyways i will keep them coming <laughs> and as much as we can go to little places here in cape town we'll do our best to do that uh, when we have free time and when things are just kind of flowing and yeah really good things coming um next month so be on the lookout for that because my gosh i'm so excited but i can't share until it's like done but otherwise bye